Hey, what's happening? Chris Martinez. I am the host of Operation Agency Freedom. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be talking about the best show ever, Ted Lasso. If you've never seen Ted Lasso before, you're missing out. I'm going to give you a sneak peek. So we're going to be talking about Ted Lasso. There's so many business lessons that I've learned from the show. I started watching it. I didn't start watching it when it first came out. I started watching it maybe like a year ago or maybe two years ago. I can't remember. But I love the show. I've learned so much about the show. I learned so much about myself by watching the show. So today we're going to be talking about Ted Lasso, a specific scene where he's playing darts. Maybe you know what scene I'm talking about already. If you're a fan, we're going to talk about the lessons that that has about business and as well as the types of people that you encounter in your life and in the business world, in the marketing space, because of this scene, I'm going to really, really help you understand how to deal with difficult people. So if you're a Ted Lasso fan and you want to watch the scene and you want to hear about the things that I've learned from Ted Lasso, leadership lessons from Ted Lasso, then you're going to love this episode. And if you just want to learn something fun and watch a cool YouTube video, then pay attention. So that being said, let's jump over to the episode. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I have this idea where I wanted to share a clip from the show Ted Lasso. If it goes well, I'll probably do this again because there's so many high quality episodes in the show. But I want to talk to you guys about this one scene from Ted Lasso where he's basically in a bar playing darts. And I see, I still season one, actually. There's three seasons of the show. And I want to just share the scene with you. And then we're going to talk through it and kind of like the big lessons and why I decided to share this particular episode with you guys and the impact that it's had on me over the past few months, because I've been thinking about the scene quite a bit. So with that being said, let's head over to the U.S. Let's watch us some Ted Lasso. You know, Rupert, guys have underestimated me my entire life. And for years, I never understood why. I used to really bother me. But then one day I was driving my little boy to school and I saw this quote by Walt Whitman. It was painted on the wall there. It said, be curious, not judgmental. I like that. So I get back in my car and I'm driving to work. And all of a sudden it hits me. All them fellas that used to belittle me, not a single one of them were curious. You know, they thought they had everything all figured out. And so they judged everything and they judged every one. And I realized that they're underestimating me. Who I was had nothing to do with it. Because if they were curious, they would ask questions. You know, questions like, have you played a lot of darts, Ted? (laughs) Which I would have answered, yes, sir. Every Sunday afternoon at a sports bar with my father from age 10 till I was 16, he passed away. Barbecue sauce. (laughs) Hopefully, you're watching the video because you can actually see the scene. But if you're listening to this and you've never seen this episode before, let me just give you kind of some background on Ted Lasso, by the way, in case you've never watched the show. So essentially, Jason Sudeikis plays this character named Ted Lasso. He knows nothing about soccer whatsoever. He was a football coach, a D2 football coach in the U.S. And then the soccer team in, in London, the guy who Ted Lasso was just playing darts with, he was the former owner of this soccer team. And because of a divorce, his now ex-wife took it over. Her name was Rebecca. She's the one at the end who was buying drinks for everybody. So Rebecca had brought Ted Lasso over to the club because she wanted him to fail. She actually wanted him to fail and then the club would go under. And basically she wanted to do that to hurt her ex-husband without giving you too much. And that actually, that doesn't happen. So watch the show and you can see exactly what all the details of what happens. Anyways. The reason why I love this scene so much is because it highlights something that happens far too frequently in our society and in entrepreneurship. The Walt Whitman quote that Ted gives, be curious, not judgmental. I mean, how often does that happen in our industry? How often do we judge somebody based on what we see and not actually dive deeper and see what's going on, right? We do that as leaders. We do that with our employees. We do that with our hiring, right? So often I see people that are hiring people to fill roles that they're not qualified for based on who they know or what they look like or how they sound, right? They do a really, really good 
phone interview and we're like, this is absolutely the person. Being judgmental, that's not being curious. We need to dive deeper. When you're figuring out who to follow, right? Because there's so many gurus out there, right? And if they have the flashy car or they live in the house or they have that perceived dream life on social media, then we're like, oh, that's somebody that I need to pay attention to. Sometimes they're, you know, legit. A lot of the times they're not need to be more curious. When you're looking at clients that you want to work with, maybe they're the marquee name where if you go to a conference, that's the person that they say, we're going to have this person here. And then everybody buys tickets and you're like, okay, that's who I need to get. That's my big whale client. Sometimes those people aren't who you think they are. And sometimes they're the worst freaking clients that you could possibly imagine. The most difficult who never follow the process. They need all the handholding and they never do things the right way. That's, a lot of the times that's what happens. Got to be curious, not judgmental. I love the way that the Ted Lasso character tells stories. It's so relatable and so kind, right? He's just a nice guy. The way that I think that a lot of people should act, even though he has reasons to be a jerk, he chooses to be nice. Something for you guys to think about. If you're being judged, by the way, If you feel like you're one of those people, and I often feel like this as well, where people are judging you because of what they perceive or what they see or what they don't see, feel sorry for them. That's ultimately what it comes down to. It's having a conversation with somebody in our industry who's an asshole. He's a known asshole. And I just flat out told him, I was like, you know, this is racist, bigoted, like anti, it's just a terrible person in my opinion. Why was I talking to this guy? It's a whole different story. But I just flat out told him, I was like, man, I sent him the clip actually. And I said, I feel sorry for you, man. I feel sorry for you that you go around just judging everybody out there and you don't try to understand anybody. What a sad life. And his business was not very successful. He's one of those people actually that gets on the stages when I'm like, I know what's going on behind the scenes. I have no idea why anybody listens to you. But I think that's the approach that we have to take with people like this like Rupert in the show or like this other guy whose name I will not say. Maybe on my deathbed, I'll write and all the people that I know that are just garbage. But that's the approach I think is just, I feel sorry for you, man. I feel sorry for you that this is the way that you've chosen to go through life. You're missing out on so much. Just be a little bit curious. Try and get to know people. Get off your high horse. Just to wrap it up, to just bring home some business lessons from this. You got to be curious with your people figure out what's going on. If they're underperforming, if they were doing great and now something's going wrong, how come what's happening? Is everything okay at home? Are you okay? Do you, is there anything I can do for you? Ask that question. If somebody, if you know that somebody's going through a hard time, the one thing that I think is the absolute worst thing that you could say to somebody that's going through a difficult time is I'm sorry that that happened to you. It drives me fucking crazy when somebody says that to me. When I talk about childhood abuse, dad dying of cancer, all these things that have happened to me. I'm so tired of hearing people say, I'm sorry that happened to you. And if something as bad has happened to you before, I guarantee you that somebody has said that to you as well. Do you know what nobody has ever said to me? In 44 years, what somebody's, nobody's ever said these words to me. They've never said, what can I do to help? That's what I'm asking you to do. If you see that somebody that you care about, whether that be an employee, a family member, a friend, whatever, Somebody's going through a difficult time. Don't say, I'm sorry that happened to you. Say, what can I do to help? And if you're a business person, there's a business case for this as well. I think it's far down the line of why you should do it. You should do it because it's the right thing to do. But that's part of being curious, man, is just asking them, are you doing okay? And if there is something that's difficult, even if you don't know how you can help, just the act of saying, what can I do to help? It'll mean so much for that person. It could be the difference that pulls them out of whatever black hole that they're in. So there's kind of like the business lesson to do it. Like, are you going to make more money even because you do these things? Probably. Should you do them regardless because it makes you a better person? Absolutely. So with that being said, check out that episode of Ted Lasso. I can't remember what episode it is, but it's a great show. There's tons more business lessons, leadership lessons, life lessons that you can get from the show. And if you guys really like this show, make sure that you subscribe and comment. And then I will go through more scenes of Ted Lasso and we can watch some TV together and then talk about it. It'd be like the Ted Lasso book club. All right, have a great day. Talk to you later. Hey, thank you for listening. And if you enjoyed this episode, it would mean so much to me if you would subscribe to the podcast and also share it with friends, family, and basically anyone you know who will find the same value in this episode as you do. So to get the latest from me, 
then let's connect on social media on the Facebooks at facebook.com forward slash dude agency or Instagram at dudeagency.io. Then you can also find us on LinkedIn, YouTube, and even TikTok. Yes, I'm that cool. We are on TikTok. Finally, go to our website at dudeagency.io where you can see all of our other episodes of Operation Agency Freedom, register for live trainings on how to run a highly profitable agency, and you can see exactly how we help marketing agencies fix their operations and scale to eight figures and beyond. Thanks again for listening, and I will see you next time.